Yes guys, welcome back to Seven Golf and welcome to the launch of my brand new golfing game show. We started in the garage on Instagram Live, we're now we're here at the Forest of Arden launching the first of three episodes across the courses of the UK Swing. Hanbury Manor and Celtic Manor still to come. Each episode is going to have three contestants. You guys have entered, into entering in your hundreds by the way, nearly a thousand people have entered so far. Three of you are here today who we're going to meet shortly, taking part in three different challenges to win various prizes and also win a slot in the grand finale at the Belfry, where the winner of that will win a full tailor-made fitting. I'm taking part as well though. I'm trying to win prizes for you guys at home as well. So stay tuned to later in the video to find out just how you can win just by watching along. So the guys at TaylorMade gave us that prize kitty. I've earned 10,000 pounds, 500 pounds for every Stapleford point I got up at Close House going into the kitty for prizes for the contestants and for you guys at home. But also they've stepped up once again. This time, they're going to be giving 500 pounds or up to 500 pounds for every local charity. Up at Close House, 500 pounds will be going to the Sir Graham Wiley Foundation, a local children's charity up in the north. However, here at Forest of Arden, once more we have a chance to raise 500 pounds for local charity here, New Life, which supports local disabled children. The way we do that, guys, we've got a like rating. 50p from every like up to 500 quid goes into the charity box. You know what to do, guys. Get liking on the video. Let's go and meet today's contestant. Lewis, you are a 20 handicapper. Correct. What is the thing that's best in your game and maybe what's your biggest weakness at the moment? So my biggest weakness at the minute would probably be my driving. Okay. Just getting that consistent enough to get the ball straight in and play. Um, I think the best part of my game probably about 50 yards from the green. Getting mm. the ball nice and close short in. Game. A bit of short game. Nice. Um, so if that's working well for me today, I should probably uh, win a few prizes. Interesting. Well, what, what was it like when you got that email from me? The new how, how did you feel then when you found I was in you work and I, uh, <laughs> I had to... Uh, I had to run off and uh, go and scream in a corridor somewhere in school. <laughs> I was very, very pleased with it. Well, you left me a very, very nice comment. And I'm loving this. This game show is about giving back to people yeah, who have yeah. really supported my content. So I'm very grateful for you watching the stuff. No problem. Tell us a bit about your golf, mate. You are a six handicapper, I yep, believe. I'm a six handicapper. What's your, what's your strength of your game? Distance. I've got a hell long ball. Okay. Shame there's ball. no longest drive today, then. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> you get quite a long ball. I've made a couple of changes. Um, short games come on really with leaps and bounds. The one thing I really wanted to work on, I would say, is me putting. Okay, so Harry, on your form, you said you're a 15 handicap. You told me now you're 13. You cut yeah. yourself two shots, mate. That is brave, but I absolutely love it. How did you uh, How did you feel when you found out you're going to be joining us today? Um, pretty shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I was scrolling through your Instagram story, and then I saw my name pop up with the email, and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Then I was trying to find the email, and it was in my junk email. Oh no. <laughs> so I was just trying to quickly uh, send it back to you. Now I'm at the Forest Garden. Well mate, it's very, very good to have you here. You could be one to watch. If you manage to get through today, you're actually one of the green keepers at the Belfry, I understand it, right? Yes, I am. So if you make it to the final, you've got a bit of course knowledge. Yeah, hopefully they're not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge number one. We're actually going to just play the first hole as a bit of a loosener. The range is closed here for social distancing. So we're just going to play the first hole as a loosener. This first challenge is last man standing. We're going to be playing three holes, and basically you've got as many shots as the par, plus your allowance for handicap. So the guys are playing off me. A four handicap. So Harry here is getting one shot over the three holes. Lewis over here is getting three shots. And then Rob is getting no shots. So it's a par 12. We're playing a par three, a par four, and a par five. So par 12, last man standing is going to win a box of tailor made TP5 picks golf balls and a tailor made glove. Right now, I'm joined by Mr. Chris Ryan, who is a special guest in today's episode, resident professional here at the Forest of Arden. Obviously, uh, you guys will recognise him from YouTube as well. Chris, we are going to be playing here in, episode, in challenge number one, yep. holes two, three, and five. Yep. Tell us what the guys should expect from these holes. So this, I mean, this one's a tricky one because it's not the longest, it's like 320, um, but it's a tr tricky tee shot because it goes round for left. So you kind of have to be a bit brave and commit to a line okay. that you can't really see the ball landing. Um, so they need to be going kind of over this corner. Take the corner on, yeah. And if they can get the tee shot away in the fairway, they're left with probably less than 100 yards in, so a decent chance to get it close. Okay, and then we've got par five, haven't we? Par five, that's going to play long. I think that's going to be a little bit into the wind. Mm -hmm. um, you have got a stream that runs across, so yeah. most of the time it's going to be a three shot hole. Um, so again, it's going to be a case of just making sure the layup is good to give themselves a chance of getting close to their third. And then they're playing the par three, which is. The greens, it's really defence there. Big green, lots of slopes. Greens within greens, aren't they? Yeah, so yeah, you can be nice green. you can be sort of 25 feet away but have quite a few slopes to deal with. So um, two putting's not easy on that one, but try and get it on the green and then do your best to get down into. Okay, here we go then. Rob, you're leading us off. Okay, so here we go. So yeah, last man standing, or otherwise known as 12s, this one's going to be. So basically it's a par 12, so everyone gets at least 12 shots. And when you run out of shots, that's it, you're done. 
Whoever can get as far as possible to the end of the three holes or finish with as many shots spare as we go. Uh, so the tee shots are away. Harry went a little bit right here, but he did manage to get a nice wedge back over the tree. That's his second shot. And as he was getting 13, that means he's now got 11 shots left. That makes sense now? Here's Rob. Rob here, lovely tee shot around the corner. Um, into the middle of the fairway, probably the best tee shot of all of us, to be honest. I've pulled mine a little bit left, and Lewis went a little bit to the right. Okay, so here we are up on the green now. Myself and Rob managed to knock in for pars. Harry with a five. Lewis, sadly, with an eight. Not played his best stuff thus far, but he's still got seven shots left in order to play the last two holes and cling on in there. So on to the second hole. I'm hitting from the fairway here, just trying to get one down there on this par five. Lewis just really couldn't get things going, sadly. Watched him hit a few balls earlier on. You can tell he's a good player, but just the occasion so far is getting the better of him. No way. That's impressive. That is, uh, it was a very impressive sound on the wood, but yeah, not, not going so well for him. Harry now playing his fourth shot here. Needs to just cling on in there at the moment. Just needs to survive, get into the second round if he can. Got one down there, green side. Chance to, uh, to make an up and down. And Rob had done so very nicely here. This was uh, for an up and down for his par, for a back-to-back -back pars, and leave himself all three shots for the final par three, which was the same for me. This was a long-range birdie putt for me, which meant I had this to knock in and stay neck and neck with Rob. Remember, I'm playing for you guys. If I win, you win prizes. And that just sums up Lewis's day, to be fair. Unlucky, Lewis. I feel bad for you, mate, because you're a much better player than you've shown today. But that is the end of his journey. You are eliminated for now, anyway. Myself and Rob tap in for our pars. Harry taps in for his seven, which means he's got one shot left. He has to make a hole in one if he wants to win the prize for this round. But he will be advancing into challenge two. Who's going to win the prize? Is it Rob or is it one of you guys? All hit really solid shots into the heart of the green there. Rob now has a birdie putt. Hit pits this in, then yeah, well, he's, he's almost unbeatable. Taps that one down nicely, and I must have been feeling generous here because I. Uh... Rob, you know what? You can have that. Thank you, Pull. Yeah, I, Thank I you, gave mate. him that Which part. Means, unless I one putt this, <laughs> you're going to win a mulligan <laughs> and the tailor made ball. That's right, so club. winning each so challenge, you can oh, earn a mulligan. Um, but you have to beat me. <laughs> in order to get the I mean, prize. If I, if I two putt it, then guys, you guys at home are still winning it as well, because we both win. Everybody wins. I've just I'm got a two putt it. Just got a two putt it, and then you get a prize as well as Rob, because that'll be a draw. Good roll, Luke. Ooh, I'll tell you what, Rob, I mean, Rob didn't give it to me, and that was for you guys. But don't you worry, Boom. Sebi's got you back. Go. Prizes for everybody there. Now, if you do Want want to win any of the prizes that I earn for you guys throughout this whole series, you need to leave a comment down below with a way of contacting you. Simply comment, let's go Sebi. Right, so challenge number two. We had, a, well, we're joint winners. So you've won yourself, tailor-made balls, gloves, Thank you. Thank you. as have the viewers at home. So get your comments down below if you want to enter and win, win those. Got a chance to win some more for the viewers at home here because now we have Harry and Rob going head to head with Mr. Chris Ryan. Chris Ryan is now playing for you viewers at home and we're playing for a tailor-made putter of your choice. Remember, you have a mulligan in hand. Yes. If you need it, you can use it. You don't have to. No, no. You have the opportunity to use it if you wish to. How many have I got? Um, <laughs> we'll see how many you need. <laughs> um, so if you use your mulligan, however, you can progress, but you can't win the prize. Okay. So that is the cost of using the mulligan. If you use your mulligan, you cannot win the prize. If you get, if you win this again, you get two mulligans in the final. Okay. okay? So, the handicap, to allow for the fact that people are getting shots here, how are you going to go off the, the yellow tees, the regulation tees? Rob, you're going to go slightly back, 10 yards back, so 140 yards, 150 yards, and then Chris is going off the back tees, 160 yards. Okay, Rob's up first here. Mulligan is available. He doesn't want to use it though, if he can avoid it, because he'd love to win a putter, I'm sure. But if he does use that mulligan, it could be coming to one of you guys. And you know what? He hasn't hit this one very well. That is not even on the green. Yeah, it's Check true. this out. This was a bit of confusion here. I wondered, I will ask you again. No. No, no mulligan. I mean, what's he thinking? No, no what's he thinking? Taken. If you don't use it now, it's gone. You won't use it this round. No, no. Wait for it. Okay. Wait, okay. wait for his brain to click in. Like Harry's not going to get inside that. And you can be eliminated. Can I? Yeah. I've just let him know that if he doesn't use his mulligan, so, that's his best ball. So if I use my mulligan now, I'll get another shot. That's right, mate. Then you can't win the but you can still get in the final. I'll just move back over here. I thought so. I thought so, Rob. Off you go. Go and get another ball. 
Mulligan has been taken from Rob. He had a bit of a malfunction there. Uh, we'll let him off it. The excitement got the better of him. Can he improve though? Can he make that Mulligan count? This was a much better shot on its way here. Much better shot. Oh, it's an absolutely <laughs> sensational use of a mulligan. It really was. Very well played well to you, Rob. Let's have another look at this one. Right. Oh, so probably absolute strike. And now Harry's got his workout out to beat that. But remember, Chris Ryan's still to hit here to try and win the prize for you guys and steal it. But anyway, let's see how Harry gets on. Not a bad shot as well. He's got a nice one away here, Harry. Needs to go a bit. Uh, it's just short, which means sadly for now, Harry is eliminated. That, that means that you are in the final of this episode. Uh, congratulations, unlucky Harry. But there's still a chance for you guys to win something thanks to Chris Ryan. This is the most pressure I've ever felt on a golf course now. <laughs> okay. I, I just hope there's like two people watch this video because then I don't feel much pressure. 160 yards, what club is that for you, mate? I've got an eight, sorry, it's playing 160. Eight iron, okay. Bit of breeze there. Yep, I like the sound. So I reckon it's a pretty, okay. pretty foolish one. So Chris is off a slightly further back tee here as the resident pro. He's played this oh, hole many a time here. here. here Can he draw. find some magic under pressure here? Oh, he likes it. it. It's on its way. Has he won you guys a tailor made putter? I think, I don't know for definite, but I think Close. you've just snuck inside Rob there, which means one of you guys could be winning a putter of your choice. Remember, leave that comment down below right now if you've got a chance of winning that. Chris, good shot, mate. Thank you. I'll tell you what, it wasn't actually. It wasn't that much closer as I thought, but Chris has done it by probably about two or three yards. So that means one of you guys is winning a tailor-made putter, thanks to Mr. Chris Ryan. So tell you what, if you want to enter that competition, just type in the comments now, thanks Chris, and leave me a way of contacting you. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> okay, this is it, the episode finale. Rob is gonna be trying to win himself a place in the final at the Belfry and win a tailor-made driver right now. Chris, we're gonna be doing recreation challenges across all the episodes at the great courses. Many, many big moments have happened they have. at this golf course. You're going to pick a specific moment, probably the biggest of them all, uh, I might possibly. say. Yeah, I mean, I've gone through all the archives. I mean, this is, for this course, this is a pretty iconic hole. It's Not many times you play a golf course with a par three to finish. Um, so I've gone through all the footage of the European Tour, all those events, and I've pulled out a certain Mr. Seb Carmichael Brown what are the won the Trilby Tour here with an up and down from the right-hand side of this very green. That is true. I mean, I just actually birded it to get into a, a playoff, but then, I pretty much shanked one, mate, off this tee. In the, in the sudden the footage. Death. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a pretty shot. I end up, I end up on that tree on the right-hand side, underneath that tree. So, the boys have got their work cut out. Yeah, so we're going to put them in pretty much the same spot. Yeah. The flag is, you reckon, cut within three or four feet to when I it was. So they've got exactly place. that yeah. same shot. Um, probably similar conditions. So it's going to be interesting to see how they, how they get on. I'm sure they're going to be uh, asking for some advice. Well, hopefully you can give them some, because mine was a bit lucky. Off you. <laughs> <laughs> off you, the advice should be off you. Let's, let's get down and see what they've got in store for them. So this is the shot, Chris. About 43 yards. What would you be doing here? Well, look, I mean, what do you remember about the day? What were, what were the greens like? Were they firm? Were they receptive? I think they were fairly firm. I remember being just absolutely livid that I just sort of basically <laughs> shanked one here, to be honest. Pretty much dead. Abs was, he had a two putt to basically beat me. So um, I think I hit little 58 degree here. Well, I was thinking that. I mean, you, look, you can see that there's not a huge amount of green to work with. Because you've got the slopes to the bunk, you don't really have the choice to go along the ground. So really it's got to be the aerial shot with, with a fairly steep land angle and then hopefully pulling up pretty close to the hole. So I'd be going in for the most lofty club I can. Um, wouldn't be wanting to push the ball back too much. So often golfers do that to try and guarantee the strike, but the ball can come out a little bit hot. Mm. So I'll be getting that ball kind of middle to forward on a stance, plenty of loft. Turn the body through, just commit and just make sure you land it on the green. Because if you land it short, it's probably going to be another chip you've got next. Well, you know what? You're very right. But you know what? I actually think I got, like, I think I slightly under hit mine hit a bit of the downslope and made it run on. I actually went about 20 feet long. I made the up and down, but hopefully the boy is going to leave himself a little bit less work than that today, because we could be getting twitchy. For a place in the final of this game show, I think the boys will want less than 20 feet. Well, there's actually a little bit of breeze coming into us That's here, true. so if they can get that ball it's up true. in the air, the breeze will stop it, soft greens, there's a good chance they can get inside of, inside of you. <laughs> I, think, I think you're right. There we go. Okay, Rob, this is it, mate. You've got two things to win here. You've got three balls here to recreate this shot. I've shown you the shot. Yep. It's a toughie. Yeah. Um, you've got three balls to recreate it and you've got a mulligan, yeah. right? You can use the mulligan whatever you want. Three balls to up and down, just one. If you do that without the mulligan, you're in a tailor-made driver and you'll be going to the Belfry, joining us for the grand final Brilliant. to win the uh, full tailor-made fitting. 
if you're up and down it with a mulligan, you'll still be in the final, but you won't get the driver. One of the viewers at home will be getting that driver. Okay. So, are you feeling confident? <laughs> I just feel okay. <laughs> Mate, you've been great fun today. Have you had a good day so yes, far? Yes, loved it, loved right? it. So this is icing on the cake. What okay. cup have you got? What are you going with? 58, love wedge. That's a smart move, mate. I wish you genuinely all the best of luck. Thank you. You can, you can place the ball yep. in a desired live by choosing. Thank you. <coughs> Good luck, mate. Thank you. Oh, that is nice. You might not need any. Right now, sit, sit, sit. Oh, that's the tricky thing. That's the tricky thing. That's the tricky thing. You've hit a pretty good shot there, yeah, yeah. and it's probably rolled 20 feet past. <laughs> the slope does all run from yeah. right to left as we look. So, you got another go here. That's good as well. Oh, it's got a horrible bounce. Oh, it's checked up though. <laughs> wow, now, that's very good. I was gonna say to you, you might wanna clean your club, get some extra spin on the cruise. That had plenty of spin on it, mate. Very good shot, all right. Bear in mind, you're gonna get to put all of these. You've only got to make one of the putts, all right? Okay. One more go. I'm rooting for you here, mate. That was a lovely shot. Can you improve on it, though? Oh, not that one. All right, well, shouldn't listen to me. Don't clean your grooves, mate. No, no, I'm okay, just saying. Let's leave that there. Go on, All right, we're walking up to the hole. You're gonna get your putter. Yep. Let's have a look at... Uh, some of these balls. I'm pretty sure he won't be taking the, the ball in the bunker, but we will We will leave it there. So Rob, what you need to do, you just need to sink one of these putts. I do, yeah. If you sink one of them without using a mulligan, you win the driver mm -hmm. and you'll be in the final. Yeah, okay. Oh, come back, come back. Ooh, Ooh okay. That's all right, you've got a line off that. Now yeah. take your time. You have got a mulligan. Yep. If you use the mulligan, you've got two parts of this. You won't win the driver, but you we'll will win final. a seat in the final. That's, which is great. Um, if you miss both, yeah. one of the other contestants from earlier in the episode <laughs> is coming back in to have a chance of stealing. Okay. Okay? So take your time. Get in, get in, get in. Yes! yes! <laughs> well done, mate. He has done it. Rob, that is fantastic. You have booked your seat in the final right. without using your mulligan, yep. which means you're going to cool. win a tailor-made driver cool. of your choice. Yep. Uh, wow, that is absolutely awesome. And you're going to be in the final at the Belfry. Fantastic. Guys, that was awesome. Comment down below what you thought of that episode. I'd love to get some of your feedback. That was an amazing Brilliant. moment, mate. I'm buzzing Brilliant. for you. I'll see you at the Belfry. Brilliant. You let me know later yep. what, uh, which tailor made driver you'd like. Okay. The guys will sort you out. Next up, we're going to Hanbury Manor. Yep. Uh, and then we're going to Celtic Manor for the final at the Belfry, sir. Brilliant. I'm impressed, Rob. That was Brilliant. awesome. Guys, drop a like for Rob in the video. That was awesome. We'll see you next time. Well done again, mate. Cheers, Fantastic. Mate. Well done. Thank you, Brilliant. Brilliant.